Tell me about your first recording session when you first heard yourself on a mic in the ears. I won't even... It, it's a different, like... I'll take it either even deeper, like, mm -hmm. rather than hear it in the ears. It's like... I do, like, crazy stuff. I go by the speakers and put my ear to the speakers and just let the, let just the bass like me. just touch my ears and just boom, like... That feeling is like a sensation, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for me. And then, like, just being able to create. I think that freedom to be in the studio and you just in a place of vulnerability where nobody at, like, nobody can critique what you're doing, control what you're doing, you creating. Like, mm -hmm. I think that's, it's like, spiritual. wow, it's different. It's, it's a whole different portal. Like, I be, like, feeling like I'm in a whole other dimension. And then I leave the studio and I got to come back to earth. You feel me? Like, it's, it's, it's deep. Like, I just like making music. We I like that, that cut right there. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's what the that's what the pink room means. Like, yeah. That's why I love music so much because it takes me to another dimension to right. where I can like subconsciously or I can actually kind of like be more aware of my subconscious yeah. because it flows out of me. When I hear a song, like, <sighs> man, fuck this. And I'm like, wait, I didn't know I felt that way. Because you're comfortable and you're vulnerable. And yes. music is the only thing. That's why I love music. I feel like it's the only thing in the world that can really hit those spots of vulnerability. In a regular setting, like I, I feel like this right here, this could be like your space to be vulnerable because you walk out here and you're like, damn, I'm back in the real world. You yes. know what I'm saying? Yeah, it is. And this I is feel my the space. Vibe. That's, I'm so happy you understand I the understand pink room. the vibe. I love yes. the vibe. Yes. Okay. Well, let's get more into the vibe. All right. Okay. You're going to sit up straight, <clears throat> put your back to the, the seat, and put your palms up to the sky. All right, we're going to take it back to, let's say, let's go 12-year-old Flaugé. You was playing basketball at 12, right? Yeah. yeah, pretty much all your life. All right, Flaugé, we are getting ready for your double-A game, whatever whatever little league you was in. You in the locker room, you got your little iPod I'm Nano. Yeah. It might be. <clears throat> you got your little iPod Nano going, and you playing some track, but you're getting yourself hyped up. And you the type right now that you're not talking to nobody. You ain't looking at nobody. There's nobody in the locker room but you. But you know when you get out, when you stand up, you leading that line down out on the court. Um, what song are you playing in your ears as you get ready to lead your team to victory? All of the lights, Kanye. I love you so much. <laughs> I love you. That's my power song, too. That's that one and power. I mean, stronger. Yeah. Str well, stronger, yeah, stronger, stronger. Stronger power and all the lights. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> exactly. All right, you can come back to life now. Okay. Even though you probably don't want to. See? Nah, that was, that's yeah. what I love doing. Ooh, I was there. He was there, wasn't you? Yeah, I'm on my head. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's that that's that splash. That give you that's that splash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's get into the break now. Talked about square one, talked about all that good stuff. Now we at the big foe. I mean, you already won the championship, but you know. This track for you, well, for the world, I think has introduced you to the world and for others who weren't, you know, outside of who, others who weren't engaged with basketball like that, right. like myself. Like, again, I found out about you, but just watching it because my friend wanted to see it. Right. And then I'm like, hold on, who who are they? Like, myself. They got something going on. And then I love seeing stories about young black women coming up and being able to be multi-talented and owning that. Yeah. So tell me about recording the big foe. And kind of how this whole story of your your victory has happened, unfolded yeah. in so many ways. Oh, man. Recording Big Folk. I've been recording Big Folk, right? And I was like, it's a good song. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it was a freestyle. Like, it was just me rapping in the studio with my friends. She came up with it. But I was like, this is too hard. Like, the flows, like you said, the flows are so hard. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, I'm going to drop this one. Like, I'm getting a little traction from basketball. Are you smart? Yo, yeah. I mean, oh, I, I play everything. Got gotcha. you. When I get a little bit of traction from basketball and it's climbing, I'm mm -hmm. going to drop this just so it's there, just so it's out, just so it could just, mm -hmm. just see what it do. Yeah. And I posted it and they got like 100,000 views in like an hour or something like that on Instagram. And I was like, okay. A little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. Like, but it was way before the national championship. So I just let it sit there and uh, it just kept going viral everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Every time I post a video or something, they got the same song, same audio, same lyrics. It just kept going viral. I was like, this is going to be the song that like people go to like right after, you know what I'm saying? Like this is going to exactly. be the one they go to. Yep. And I wanted to be a song that like represent me. And I wanted to be bars and I wanted to be melody and I wanted to be fun. And I wanted to be, you know what I'm saying? Like youthful, how I am. Because I have a lot of songs that like, I rap like real raps. And I, so it's hard to the core. But I wanted something that was like light and lifting up and fun. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. That's what I wanted to drop, but like, 
I feel like that's just one song to be like, okay, this is a little bit of Flage. This is one side of Flage. I'm just, I'm just giving a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because if you go listen to my catalog, everything is different. And so I just want to be like, boom, like this is just all of that in one, in a way. You know what I mean? What's your favorite, um, I guess, version of yourself to tap into on the, on the mic? Version of your sound to tap into? My favorite? Yes. It's probably like melodic. I love melodic stuff. I like melodic flaw. She's cool. She's like real smooth. Yeah. Little. Yeah, my <clears throat> voice is just so, it's just. It sounds, it sounds good. good. Yeah, yeah no, like it little sexy. Good. Like, it sounds good. I, I like when I sing. Like, Who are some of your favorite sure. melodic artists? References to that sound. Um, I can't say like. I don't really well, know. Well, let's, let's scratch the word favorite, but just other. I just don't really know nobody who sound like my melodic high sound, but like as far as like a singer, I like Kaylani. I like, okay. uh, ooh, I don't want to look on my phone, but I really want to say who this is. You can if you got it. Please. Yeah, my phone right here. Yo, mm. I have to put y'all on because it was, it's, this song is okay. If I don't know about it, I'm going to be real impressed because I love getting put on. Okay, bet, bet. It's deep. Um, It's called Glitter by 070 Shake. I know 070 Shake, but I don't know Glitter. I've only listened to Cocoon. Now you just, you go listen to that and then you okay. come oh, back. Oh, no, she just said do that. Yeah, you got to do that. I got to do that to me <laughs> in my room. Look, I'm you Because you're going to come back, you're going to be like. Phew. All right, okay. I put You put me on that song. I'm going to tell you another put me on. song. Listen to this song called Autumn, from Autumn Marini or Martini. I think it's Marini. Called Drive. 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 Autumn Martini. Marini. Marini. Yeah. Autumn Marini. Yes. Autumn Marini Drive. 0707 or 070 Shake. Glitter. Glitter. I can do that. Yeah. All right, cool.